What's up guys? Specstar here today with my week 5 battle of MB. This time going up against Rob Jr. And he's got himself a team consisting of Embor, Mega Tyranitar, unfortunately not optional to run the Specs variant, Excadrill, Galarian Darmanitan, Slowpro, and Amoongus. And I will switch over here to my team. And here I've got my Mega Alakazam, which I got Focus Blast, Psychic, Energy Ball, and Protect. Energy Ball primarily to hit Slowbro. Uh, generally just hits the team a little bit better than Shadow Ball does there for that coverage slot. Didn't need any speed in this matchup, really. Um, I could have put speed for about one Mon, I think, and it just wasn't worth it. Uh, especially since potentially had the option to trace Sandrush if he did opt to run that kind of set. Next up I've got a Scarf Kira running Dual Ice with the new Freeze Dry Max Speed because I needed to tie something which I do not remember at this exact moment. I, I don't remember a few things about the build because I have since this done the next build so I can probably explain those sets better right now. Um, I've got here my Flame Orb, Conkelder, Rock and Defog, just in case he did opt to set up some hazards. He didn't really bring much for setters, I think, in the actual game. Uh, next up here, I've got my Durant, which is running Helmet. This set is mostly just to chip Galarian Dermanitan every time it comes in, because I don't have a counter to Scarf Dermanitan. I can't switch in on that thing at all. All I can really do is kind of punish it for when it does come in, make sure it can take too many chips out and leave unscathed. Next up I've got my eel here, which was a good pivot on Thunderous, which could potentially be a problem to the remainder of the team. Didn't wind up bringing it. Sleep Talk. I only really needed those three moves, really, and Sleep Talk helped me use this as a switch into Amoongus. And lastly, I've got a pretty standard-ass Mudsdale. And now I'll go back to the game here. So, uh, looking at this matchup, I decided that my best lead was Alakazam, because I did have the Protect for Darmanitan, and I think the only scenario where this was bad was if he leaded off with the Tyranitar, which I do have some pretty good switch-ins to. Mudsdale would kind of negate any momentum it would get because it would be able to set up rocks and then I'd be able to set up rocks. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to lead off with Zam. He leads off with Amoongus and then he switches on to Tarantar here. I'm just going to click Energy Ball. Uh, actually my first thought is he might go into Slowbro, but if he did go into Excadrill or Tarantar, Energy Ball covers that too. Uh, Tarantar takes a pretty good hit here from the Energy Ball. Um, Alakazam is so important to me, I don't want to take the 30% chance of losing it here. Uh, yeah, I don't screw around with that too much. I'm, I'd rather just switch it out and go into my Mudsdale here. And he does pull the switch in a Slowbro. And I am going to go into my Electros. I could have got up Rocks, but I didn't really want Mudsdale to take that much damage off the bat. He pulls the switch into Amoongus, which is fine with me. I'm just going to click my knockoff safe here. He goes for Spore, so I'm going to be asleep, but I know that burns out the one sleep he's allowed with Sleep Claws, so nothing else is going to put to sleep. I'm just going to go for my Sleep Talk here, uh, ideally hoping to get U-Turn. Uh, I'm going to get knockoff as he goes into T-Tar, so not, not the ideal. Uh, here I'm going to switch into my Mudsdale, as is my best switch to that Mon. He megas and gets up his rocks, and uh, two can play at that game. He actually goes for the Toxic on the Mudsdale, knowing I was going to click rocks, which is pretty interesting. And I'm actually going to go for Toxic this turn, thinking he'd want to go into Slowbro. He instead goes into Amoongus, which is fine, I guess. I'll go into my Electros, and he pulls the switch into Excadrill. And I am fine with any of the three moves except Rest here. So I'm just going to go for my Sleep Talk, Does, or no, I'm going to go for U-Turn. Right, I burned my second Sleep Turn. My mistake there. I was just going to U-Turn to pivot out to kind of see what he wanted to do. Here is my little co-host, Luna. 
who I guess is being a little f too friendly here. Say hello to the good people, Luna. Yeah. She wanted to kind of jump in on my stream there, she, or my fit recording. She was climbing my leg. Uh, I'm going to go into my Kinkelder here because, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a hit. Behind his sub, he would be able to get a hit off on anything. But Kinkelder could recover a lot of it with Drain Punch, so I thought that was my best option. He shows the Protect, so this is a pretty interesting set here. I'm guessing Toxic for the last move at this point. Uh, he goes for Earthquake and does a deal. It is a pretty good deal here. I just go for Drain Punch to recover what I can. Not too much. He goes for Protect here as I just click Drain Punch again knowing he's going to Protect. And uh, here I'm actually... I could just go for the Monk Punch, but I, I did not assume he'd want to stay in. Uh, particularly since Earthquake's a roll to kill me even if even if I don't click Mog Punch, so I'm just going to click Drain Punch to try to get this thing to as much health as possible before I switch out. But he actually does go for the Earthquake, and he does get the roll to kill me, so uh, that was a pretty good turn for him there. I'm going to go into my Alakazam on the Excadrill, because I know that he's not Colberberry. I'm going to, right here... I'm already down one, I'm going to try to make my play to get it back and put some offensive pressure on him. I'll take the 70% chance to kill this if he wants to switch out, he doesn't switch in too well on Zam anyway. Uh, he does go into Slowbro, which I do believe was Vest, I could be wrong. I'm just going to go for my Energy Ball here, do a pretty good amount of damage. He goes for the Scald, and then switches out into Titar as I go for my Psychic here, as it was in range. Uh, here he switches out the T-Tar into the Slowbro. This time, uh, this time I don't have the patience to avoid the 30% chance. I'm just, I'm just going for it right now. I'm already kind of in the back foot, so I'll take the odds in my favor to try and get it. Um, but he actually pulls a double into Slowbro, and I would have missed the move anyway. So it would have been good for him to stay in there. Uh, here he's going to switch out to Excadrill as I believe I click Energy Ball. Now I've traced Sandrush, so Excadrill is no answer to this. I'm going to click Energy Ball since he was still in range there. If he did Protect, I could have had the option to go for my Focus Blast to kill the thing. But I just clicked Energy Ball again, and that's going to kill the Slowbro there, so that's nice. Now here he goes into Galarian Darmanitan, and I'm going to make a huge colossal mistake here in forgetting that I have one more turn of sand rush. Um, I've, in my mind, I've thought of sand rush mostly as how it related to Excadrill. Uh, he brings in the Darmanitan here, and I do forget that I have the extra turn of sand rush. Uh, it didn't even cross my mind, mostly because I never would have imagined he would have brought in the Darmanitan if it was going to potentially be a sack here. Here, especially since at this point that looks like his win con. It's the one thing that can outspeed Alakazam. So I did, actually just went for the Protect to see what he'd lock into, and I'm going to lose my turn of sand. I don't know if he knew that, that I was Sand Rush for that turn when he brought Darmanitan in. Not a hundred percent positive, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna make the mistake here too myself and lose that turn. I go for protect. I see that's what he's locked into, and I believe I go into my Mudsdale as he goes into his Excadrill, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack this thing. I can't really let it get a free sub here at any cost, so I'm gonna go for an Earthquake here. Get a little bit of lefties and get a little bit of poison. And I'm actually going to pull the switch into Durant, thinking about him potentially clicking Protect here. Uh, it also worked if he went for... He wouldn't ever go for Earthquake. I was really thinking about Protect there to stall out my Mudsdale and was poisoned. And I do get that right. He goes for Protect here again as my Durant goes for Stomping Tantrum. And I'm gonna go for another one. He doesn't really switch in too well on the Tantrum. He could go Amoongus, I guess. Everything else would be killed, and Excadrill would be killed by the Stomping Tantrum. So I just go for it again, and 
Uh, unfortunately, that's going to miss, and that would have killed Excadrill. And he's going to go for Protect here, get up to 60. I continue to click Stomping Tantrum, and he's going to switch out this time, and the Excadrill is going to remain very much alive and healthy, which is pretty annoying to me. Uh, I, I go into my Electros on the Amoongus, as was my play pretty much all the time. I just wanted to try to get my slow U-turn on it. Uh, instead, I get the knockoff on the helmet, which hurts me a little bit. But at least he loses the item. He is for Synthesis. I go for Sleep Talk. I get Flamethrower, which is about neutral. He goes for Giga Drain again. This time, I go for the U-turn as that is my chance to bring in Alakazam and Trace Regenerator, which is nice, meaning he can't really stall me out with sand. He goes into T-Tar here, I just click Psychic safely, no reason to get too aggressive. Click Energy Ball, continue attacking what's in front of me. Uh, if, I don't, if I don't force a kill here, I can always regen out and try again later. Uh, he brings in Darmanitan here. This time he is faster than me, so I have to go into my Durant here and just sack it off. He goes for Ice Punch. He takes a bit of helmet damage, and he's in range of one sand and rocks, but not exactly just rocks here. I'm going to go for my go into my Curum. Uh, I should live an Ice Punch, and if he's he needs to be max speed Scarf to tie me, so I'm just going to go for my Ice Beam here. And I will take that thing out with my Ice Beam. He goes into Embor here, and that is going to force me to just sack off my Electros safely. He actually shows the Substitute on this thing, which in the late game becomes pretty annoying for me. He goes for the Flare Blitz on the Eel, and I have to bring in my Mudsdale. I need to be able to uh, break the thing sub. He goes for Focus Punch. Does a bit of damage here. I'm going to heal and then take damage. Next Flare Blitz is going to KO me. Uh, I don't have much for options here. I go into Curum. Unfortunately, I don't have Earth Power, which would have, at this point in the game, really been nice for me. So I have to click my Draco Meteor on that thing. He goes into Excadrill. That thing will take the Draco. And then uh, I'm going to go for another one. And I'm going to miss, which at th this point really isn't significant. Uh, I'm going to go into my Zam here and just click my Energy Ball. I don't really need to screw around too much here. Basically, it'll all just come down to if his fourth move is Sucker Punch. That'll pretty much decide the whole game here. And he does have the Sucker Punch, and that'll take my Zam down. Now, you can tell by my voice I'm not exactly enthusiastic. It's a little bit of an annoying game. I'm I'm pretty confident that I would have had the upper hand if the one move that Durant needed to land did land. But, uh, you know, that's a thing when you screw around with Hustle. Always have that chance of missing the key move. And uh, Durant giveth, Durant taketh away. Is the nature of the Pokemon, the horrible, stupid, terrible Pokemon that no one should ever draft. And yeah. Oh, a little puppy fighting down there. Here is the little menace causing all the trouble around here. And uh, yeah, that's it from us. Wave bye to the camera, Luna. Wave. Good girl. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a good night.